What's up guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more Fallout 3. Now I don't know who it is that's walking down there, but using a trick that I remember from Fallout 3, I should be able to find out fairly shortly. So let's go hoop and then pause it, save it. We die in a horrible thing because of fall damage, of course, but all we do now is load that save and the game recalculates how fast your trajectory is. So pretty much you just stop entirely. So that works. That works very well. Now let's go see who these people are. We got a sniper rifle now, so we're doing quite well. Sergeant RL3 and Tinker Joe. All right, well, he's got his little robot army there, so good for you, Tinker Joe. Oh, the Mentats wore off. Strong Mentats that cause a little bit of fade there. Hey, Tinker Joe. What's up, man? Wait, where are you going? Why are you running away, Tinker Joe? Where, what the hell are we running from? Everything all right? Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC. All right, good to know. What are you selling? Oh, I'd like to buy a robot. Of course you would, of course. Well, it just, and it's not just Mr. Gutsy. He's Ooh, a okay. Sergeant. Sergeant RL3, to be precise. The pride of General Atomics International. Ooh, good to know. Comes complete with a simulated personality unit. So he's good protection and good company, too. And all yours for just 1,000 caps. 1,000 caps. Uh, Karma, simulated personality sounds like trouble, yeah. To tell the truth, it is a little trouble. But he can't help the way he got built. General Atomics programmed the Mr. Gutsy to be a good soldier. But their definitions were a bit vague. So a lot yeah, I bet. I bet they had some issues. So we got a gung-ho robotic soldier that's picky about the company he keeps. But he seems to like you. So you say that now? Yeah, I don't have the money, so... I have to go. What are you selling, though? Because I, I just came into some things. Maybe I can... Get, oh, I'm close to having a thousand caps, too. Damn it. Should I spend all 1,000 of my caps on this robot? Let's see. How many stim packs do I have? Eight. Okay, yum yum deviled eggs. Let's eat those up. Let's see. What do we got? Crunchy mutt fruit. I think we can eat that. Five millimeter round. Don't have any of that. Those BBs I can sell. Mini nuke I can sell. Missile. Okay. 32 caliber I can sell. All he has is 50, so he doesn't even have enough to get- I need one more cap! Are you serious? Oh, please tell me- Do I have a new Coca-Cola? Oh, I don't have a new Coca-Cola. Damn it. So I'd be one cap short, even if I gave him all of that. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Wow. Alright, well. We may not be able to do business. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how much business we can do. I think exactly 50, and then we're kind of screwed, right? $9.99, you're shitting me. Oh, man. I need one more cap. Let me find Let me find a fucking Nuka-Cola, please. What is this, Robco? Damn it, there's no caps. I thought it was Nuka-Cola facility. Why are they sprinting away so far? Where are you going? You don't have one more cap for me, man? Oh my god. That sucks so bad. Yes. Yeah, why are you darting around here? Yeah, do you have you don't have any money, man. Come on. Oh, that's a tragedy. That is a tragedy indeed. I'll see you again, Tinker Tom. We have 999 caps. Oh, can I just walk in here and find a a Come on, let's find a Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola, there's got to be one around. Somebody's got to have one at the desk, right? Somebody had to have been sipping on a on an old Nuka Cola, right? Come on, first aid box. Let's do a cap somewhere. One bottle cap. That's all I need, truly. Jesus, this is insane that I'm shy one bottle cap. I don't know if I've ever been shy one fucking bottle cap before. Oh, we 
and here you are just to just to piss me off, aren't you, you mole rat son of a bitch? Right away and stim packs. Damn it. That mole rat seems big. They seem so big, mole rat. Stim pack. Search protector on energy cell. I just need a Nuka Cola, man. I just need a a warm Nuka Cola that's been sitting in this fucking thing for who knows how long. I just need one cap. That's all old exactly needs here. Come on, Rad Roach just pissing me off. Who knows how far Tinker Tom's made it? I gotta buy that thing from him. Open desk, nothing. Medical braids, five millimeter rounds. Yeah, great. The sad thing is, is I had enough to sell to him. I had plenty to sell to him to get it. I just didn't actually... He didn't have the caps. There weren't enough caps between us for he and I to buy it. Damn. All right, Radax, stim pack, bobby pin, the dirty water. Let's take all that. Man, if I just had a Nuka Cola, I could do it, but I don't have any. I sold those two Nuka Cola Quantums, and that fucked me. This is why this game makes you want to hold on to everything, guys, because you'll just be like, why? Why? Why could it not just be perfect? That weapon broke? What the hell? Oh my god. Alright, nothing in here. Nothing of use, anyway. Steam gauge assembly. You need that for the rocket launcher or whatever, I'm pretty sure. Desk, sensor module, conductor, damn. No Nuka Cola though. Not even Nuka Cola machine that I could use. There we go. Yeah, Ripper works really well against those little cockroaches. Stupid rad roach sons of bitches. Alright. Anybody have one cap? One cap is all I'm looking for. Clearing out this damn Robco facility just looking just, just for a bottle cap. That's my the big prize I want out of this whole thing is a fucking bottle. Offices and cafeteria. Got to be a Nuka Cola in here. Nuka Cola. Let's go. I've got 1,000 caps. Oh, Mr. Tinker Tom. Mr. Tinker Tom, I'd like to buy your robot, please. I gotta find the way out of here. I was just here and now I don't know where to get out. I think it's this way. Oh, I went the wrong way, Tinker Tom. I fucked up. I fucked up, Tinker Tom. I, mean, I just want out of here, and I just want to get my thing. Okay, kill this mole rat, and then I'm going to escape. Those are my two goals. In any order. I don't care which one I do them in. Now, these mole rats are cantankerous, man. Some damn cantankerous-ass mole rats over here. Alright, this way, maybe? I think this way, yep. Boom. Right, we'll go in here. Let's go see if we can find him. Let's see, maybe he's still out front. Maybe he hasn't made it too far. Hey, he's just right out front. That's great. That's great and fantastic. Let's save it right here in case we regret this situation immediately. Yes? Did you need I'd like to buy a robot. And it's not Yep, that's a lot of cats, so I guess it's a pretty rare find. Hey, I said it was a, but to tell the truth, RL3 is a bit pick, makes him a bit of a tough, tough robot to sell, okay. And he, he seems to like you, okay. So Thousand cats love it, I'll take I'll him. Just transfer the codes and you've got a deal, friend. 
All right, took every cap I got. But I've got RL3 now. All right, well, we got him then. Wait here. I want you to change how you close you follow me. I want you to access your storage module. You're fired, RL3. Leave immediately. No, you're a mercenary, RL3. Um, so I want you to change how close you follow me. I want to access your storage module. I can just store stuff in him. That's nice. Nice. All right. Well, let's repair some stuff. Oh, RL. Let's get some stuff repaired. Make sure I'm good to go on that front. I think I am. Everything's looking all right. Um, we got my Talon Combat Armor on. I'll probably put that on. Yeah, Talon Combat Armor is probably good to put on. That probably would have helped somewhat in that situation. We'll put on this little helmet here, and I think we are we're set. Yeah, look at us. We look at, we look awesome. So we got our we got our companion now. So now we can head out. Now we're gonna go find where our dad might have ran off to. So let's go RL three. Now we got somebody watching our back. So he should have a pretty good perception as a robot. I'm hoping. So hopefully he'll be able to alert me to any bullshit that we're gonna run into. Broken items cannot be equipped until they've been repaired. What what's broken over there? Oh, my Chinese assault rifle's fucking broken, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Oh no, it's not. Then I mean, what was over there? Oh, my laser pistol. My laser pistol was over there, wasn't it? Yep. No, it wasn't. Well, what the hell's broken then? Silence ten millimeter pistol. Gotcha. Right, well, let's just keep moving. And if anything bad happens, we got our shotgun here. Oh, I just used a stim pack. Alright, yep, I'm feeling feeling good. I feel like we're doing alright. Is that a super mutant? What the hell is that? No, that's just two guys. What are they, hunters? Okay. So it shouldn't cause us any trouble. Shouldn't be any trouble, RL3. Is that your RL3? RL3, yes. Yeah. Sergeant RL3. Sergeant, what's his name? What's RL stand for? I'll just call you Sarge. How about that, Sarge? Alright, let's head on up here. Go find where my dad went. Alright, put our guns up, just in case. I mean, I think, I think Sarge is ready in case we need to be ready, so I'll let him be the, the, the outward gun. I gotta be the approachable one who people can speak with, even though I have fucking, like, Talon, air, Talon Hitman armor on with fucking mask, like a gas mask and a fire engine helmet. Fire engine helmet? Like a fireman's helmet on. I don't know what a fire engine helmet is. It's a helmet that looks like a fire engine, I guess, if I had to pick what it was. That's what it is, guys, and that's what we're going with. And I would take one in the game, don't get me wrong. Alright, let's see. What's that over there? Well, Sarge, gotta go check out something over here. Gotta go see what it is, see what's going on. Oh, where'd you go, Sarge? What are you fighting? What are we fighting? Mole rat or something? What'd you kill? You're just killing shit I don't even know about, man. That's just what Sarges do, I guess. Well, there's only one Sarge, I think. I think he's pretty, pretty rare there. Prototype. Right, there's one. I'm sorry, I gotta get you. I'll try to do it quick, puppy. There we go. There we go. That's crazy. I mean, playing like this would be a whole different thing. It really changes the way the game looks. I 
Hey, a couple new colas. Sometimes that's all you need. That'll be the only money I have if I drink these. Drink two Nuka Colas. Pop, pop. Now I have two caps. What is this shack? Is it just that? Is it just a shack? Door to Jocko's Pop Stop. Okay. What's my karma at right now? Because they said that you know, I think I think this companion I have is karma based, which is interesting. Neutral. Okay, I could try to stay neutral. Why not? Don't be too good. Don't be too bad. Nikola Tesla and you. Carton of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes. Fancy lad snack cakes. Not stealing. I mean, these are just sitting here to for to take. So, I mean, that's just a take an opportunity of some free goods. I think there's nothing wrong with that. All right, let's go. What's up, Sarge? Little red rocket gas station here. Can't go under there. That's all right. We got a mission to go on, okay? We got to go find out where my dad potentially went, so. We cleared out all of Robco just so I could get caps just to buy Sarge here, so. Everybody meets Sarge, because he's my new buddy. He's going to be with me for a while. He was very expensive, so I'm sticking with him. I've never gotten that companion before in all the times I've played this game. I've definitely run into Tinker Tom before. But I think I always like either had a companion by then, or I just didn't have the caps, or I didn't think about it. I don't know, but I'm, I don't think I've ever had Sergeant RL3 as a companion. Jesus, Sarge. That was fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm glad to have you on my side, man. That was fucking bonkers. Alright, let's head this way. Sarge, if these mole rats try to attack me, I want you to kill them, okay? I don't think these mole rats are going to last very long. I think Sarge is going to fuck them up. That's why I'm not even looking. Where are you, Sarge? 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 Hey, Sarge? Hey! I said kill these mole rats, man. What are you doing? Thank you. Thank you, Sarge. I, I, you, you, you cost me a pretty penny, so you should, you should fight them. Sarge, do it, you son of a bitch. What the hell, Sarge? Come on. I'm gonna change how close you follow me. Uh, keep your distance, try to flank them, you're good where you are, your distance is good, let's talk about something else. Alright, you're good, let's get out of here. Yeah, fine, okay. So I don't want him further away, that's for sure. Shit, I need him closer to me than he is. This is Casey's Garage. Smith Casey's Garage, okay. I remember this being like an important kind of place somewhat, maybe. Oh, there's a Duke Cola Quantum, don't mind if I do. Open trunk, bottle cap, hey, bottle caps, always taking bottle caps. Damn. You torching people over there? Sarge? Shit, man. That weapon broke as well? Dear God. Well, looks like we found a thing. I don't remember, this was gonna be something, I can't remember what it was. Well, let's see. We got that broken, so what else we got? Right. Smith Casey's garage got a little secret underneath it, it looks like. Vault of door 103. Hmm. Well, it's not the vault we were looking for, but it is a vault. Oh, it's 112, so it is the vault we were looking for. Is this the vault we were looking for? I think it is. Vault 112, right? Wow. Happened to stumble into that.
crazy that they put it under a garage. I guess they were just trying to hide these things. Alrighty then. We found Vault 112. Hello? Denizens of Vault 112. Yeah, what is my skill, or what does my quest again say? Scientific pursuits. Gain access to Vault 112. Well, I, I did. Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Behind schedule? Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you once dressed. Tranquility. Vault 112. Oh. Tranquility Lounger. I remember this now. Oh, this will be good. All right. Let's put on Vault 112 jumpsuit. You know what? Be seated. Let's go find me a Tranquility Lounger then. All right. This looks completely normal and good. Activate lounger, monitor, resident, display resident status, heart rate, respiratory rate, pulse 82, display resident stress level, nominal. All right, which one's for me? Which one's empty? Occupied, occupied, occupied. This one's broken. Occupied, occupied. This one's not occupied. Hey! Oh, and you're standing over here. It's probably that one, yeah. That makes sense. Is that my dad? Sir, for no. Okay. Let's see. Where's my dad? Tranquility Lounger, sit. Let's go ahead and sit down here. I guess, hey, Sarge, watch this. If anything happens, kill that fucking robot. Okay, thanks. Alright, Sarge has got this. He'll watch my back while I'm gone. But uh, I think we're going into old Tranquility Lane here, so this is going to be a little bit different. Sit in the unoccupied Tranquility Lounger. Now I'm here. What do I... Oh, this is me. Okay. Well, I leveled up. Let's put that in speech, because I think I'm going to need it. I think having an 80 in speech is good, and then science is good, and yeah. Okay. Does anything need two? Would anything benefit from two points? Energy weapons, maybe? Let's do that. All right. What do we have? What, what kind of skills do I have? Impartial mediation. With the impartial mediation perk, you gain an extra 30 points to speech, so long as you maintain a neutral karma level. Okay, that's good. That's fun. Maybe we do that. Try to stay neutral. Oh, shit. I don't have my thing with me, do I? No, I don't. Not even a little bit. Okay, well, we're out now. Good day. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day. Well, I can't Say, see it. You should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over the Betty? Okay. Is that my dad? What can I do for you, sport? And you are? George Nussbaum. Pra have you seen my dad? Nope. Yeah. Afraid not. Don't... What can you tell me about the neighborhood? You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly. Okay. You know, Lady Dithers, though she's lost most of her marbles. Uh, some kind of computer simulation? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose and those darn comic books, sport. I have to go now, yeah. Okay. Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Uh, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? No, this is real. It's all some crazy experiment. What? You're weird. It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? I have to go now. Okay, Betty. Everyone keeps telling me to go talk to Betty. Who's this? Doc? Good doggy. Okay. Is this Betty? Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just trying to get bored. Okay. Oh, so I'm in a simulation so and you're fun. Betty, so I'm guessing you run shit then. Yeah, and you are I'm Betty. I live here on 
on Tranquility Lane. Uh, what the hell's going on here? We're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Look, I know he's in here. I mean, in the vault. Yeah, we're gonna do that. You mean the man that came here is your dad? And you're only here because you're looking for him? Oh, this is just too much fun. We're going to have such a good time. Let's play right now. No games. You tell me where my father is now, you little brat. Oh, don't be yeah. mean. That's not a good way to start. I said we're going to play a game. Look, kid, I'm not interested in playing games. I said I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbaum cry, and I'll help you. If you don't, then I guess you'll never find out where your daddy is. Okay. Where is he, boy? Where is dad? At least your dog's fucking nice. <laughs> well, Timmy, I gotta make you cry. The lady said so. Timmy, oh, where'd you go, you son of a bitch? Timmy! Timmy, where'd you go? Timmy, did you go back outside, you fuck? Hi. Wanna play? Wanna play? Teach a hundred. Hey, I heard your parents are getting a divorce because of you. Wow. What? Sorry, Tim. I just thought you should know. They know what you did, and they're leaving you here all alone. They never loved you. In fact, they both hate you and wish you were dead. Yeah, they know what you did. I won't want the bed again. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> Sorry. That's just how it goes. Didn't maybe Let's report back to Betty. Let's see what Betty says. Well, I made him cry, you little bitch. Decided you want to play after. I had a feeling you'd come around. Your approach was what the fuck? I don't like that, Betty. <laughs> Since you won the game, you get the prize. Uh, uh where's my father? Hi. Uh, your father is here in Tranquility Lane. Hmm. He's quite safe for now, though he can no longer hound me. This is incessant. My dad is the dog. Perhaps you will see him. My dad is the dog, you son of a bitch. Okay. You said I mean you said hound like it was a real joke there, you motherfucker. Okay, what do I have to do to see him? Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think there's like a fail safe in this game that I can go activate if I go this way, I think. Let me save it. Cause I think we're about to get real here in Tranquility Lane. Cause I think there's a thing over here. Let's see. I think it's in this dog house. I think if I go to the dog house I can get him. I thought there was, wasn't there something in a doghouse or something that I could get that I could, like, stab them with? It was some kind of thing, right? I thought it was in the doghouse. I could be wrong, but I'll find it. Oh, I'll find it, and I'll make you all very sorry. Don't you worry about that for a second. Report back to Betty. I don't want to report back to Betty. Betty's a little asshole. Where's that damn you you don't belong here. It's not real. Finally, someone who knows what's going on. Yeah, how do I get out of here? We're not really here. I know, it's lady. Happened. It's all a dream. Became a nightmare. It has to end. Yeah. Who are you talking about? Call yeah. Himself Betty now. There you go. He's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Yep, damn straight. Now, Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the failsafe terminal. I know it. What failsafe? Yeah. It's in the abandoned okay, house. in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. Okay. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. All right, I will find it then. Remember what I told you. The failsafe. Gotcha. Gotcha, lady. Hello, yeah, so Miss Dithers knows what's up. Okay, they think she's crazy. But Miss Dithers knows what's up. 
There's a gate here. Is this where the thing is that I can go find? I could have swore there was like some kind of knife or something that I could, some kind of weapon I could get in here and kill people. But I could be wrong. But I thought there was. And if I think there is, then that means that I can never be wrong, right guys? Everybody agrees with that? Activate doghouse. Well, I tried to activate the doghouse, but I didn't. So maybe that's where it is. Maybe I have to find something out before I can do that. I don't know. I just remember that being there. But I we're, we're in Tranquility Lane, guys. We're going to get out of here one way or another. Uh, our dad is a dog, and Betty is an evil scientist named Braun. So in this episode, uh, we we had a lot. We, we bought a mercenary robot that we call Sarge, and now we're inside of a simulation. So if you guys did like this one, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And, of course, I'll see you next time. Bye.